Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Our next guest saw an extreme flaw in how accessible investment opportunities were for the average American and sought to make a change. And he did so by founding Dream Funded. And here to tell us all about it is Manny Fernandez. Manny, thanks for coming on the show. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having well, me. Well, we're excited to have you. So tell me about Dream Funded. You know, it allows entrepreneurs to be able to raise money from everyone, not just the rich anymore. And so that also allows people to have equity in their company. So therefore, if it grows, people can do well. So it's like a crowdfunding platform. Crowdfunding for equity, yes. So okay. they're getting a return on their investment potentially instead of just getting a t-shirt. And like these are just everyday people. You don't have to make a lot of money right. um, to be able to invest. Right, absolutely. And why is that, Why to you, why is that better than maybe getting some financial backup from the 1% of the country? Well, it depends what network you're born in. So if you can raise it from your father, raise a half million and get started, then you can do that. But most people are not in that network. So they don't know the rich people, and so therefore, now they can raise it from their own community, and then they can get started instead of dreaming about it or trying to look for money, and it is a challenging thing. And what kind of businesses come through this? Right, it, primarily we started with high tech and startups, and now we're f expanding to small businesses where most of America will benefit from much of the wealth here in Silicon Valley through our platform. What makes a successful startup? Because, you know, startups are a big thing, especially in the Bay sure. Area. It's the founding, the founding team, a large market, early in the market, really fight persistence, be coachable as an entrepreneur, hitting the market timing, knowing exactly what people are looking for. I think that's the biggest thing. Some people create stuff that customers don't really want. And so something like Dream Funded is really a demand on both sides from startup businesses looking to get funded or businesses um, that are struggling to even tap into the right part of money. Um, now they can use their community to raise it from and, and both sides are really happy about it. And how do you get people to part with their money to invest? That's, I'd imagine that'd be tough. It's the entrepreneur selling their vision and their dream and people are emotionally connected to that. They want to see that dream come true. Um, it's like uh, one person backed this uh, taxi type company, Uber, it, because they didn't like taxi companies. So sometimes it's a personal mission. Sometimes it wants to help the next generation of entrepreneurs, help the next person. And sometimes in the back of their mind, they could have an upside somehow. And what is the best way for a person to invest in, a, in another startup such as Uber? You would go to dreamfunded.com and decide for yourself. There's a lot of the newer ones that are up there, and it all, everything that's big started small. So that little seed capital allows them to expand and grow. Obviously, Uber has been in the news a lot lately because of Travis Kalanick and the video that surfaced yes. um, from October of uh -huh. him you know, getting into it with, with a driver. Do you think that affects the investors, knowing that maybe there's some kind of culture in Uber that's negative? Well getting publicity about it right now so you know they say in Hollywood all publicity is good publicity but yes there is some some issues with regarding with uber and and we all know about it but and I don't think the brand is dead it's just a little bump in the road if you will bump in the road and I, I think it helps though that Kellenic came out and apologized right of course we're all human beings we're all have different personalities and we have bad days and good days and uh, you are an ex a successful angel investor tell me about the you founded something back in 2014 Yes, uh, in 2013, SF Angels Group is an angel group of 32 members that are accredited investors, primarily focusing on early stage startups in San Francisco. And what do you want to tell people out there who want to be just like you? Just believe in it and do it. Don't ask people for advice that's going to tell you no. And, what? Uh, Don't ask people for advice? That's all we do. Well, that's the problem. You know, <laughs> asking for advice all day long is great, but taking action is more important. So you can hear the feedback, but take action behind it. And, and educate yourself and get people that are, that are already experienced as a mentor. Ask for help. Um, and compliment and listen. I think that's a, that's a great way of getting people's advice and moving forward. It worked for me. I think it'll work for many others. Don't go up to a successful person, ask for advice, and then they say something you don't like, and they, you're telling them what you know and why they're wrong. Sure. The conversation's going to end really quick. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Uh, what kind of starters do you, do you see in the future? I think the, there's going to be a lot of great startups that are going to be more for um, people that are outside of Silicon Valley because what's happening now, there's a certain... Uh, 
people that are non Silicon Valley types are getting funded and they're they're building it for their community so you're going to have a different races that are CEOs and they're going to solve different problems than just people focusing on Silicon Valley. All right Manny well thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. And for more information about how you can invest in startups just log on to dreamfunded.com and that's it for our show this week but we will be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Have a great day.